the Pope vowed to put a stop to it. When he visited the United States last year, he said priests found guilty of sexual crimes will be held accountable. God weeps for the children. The crimes of sexual abuse against children can no longer be tolerated. Pope Francis created a tribunal at the Vatican to look into bishops accused of shielding abusive priests. In Pennsylvania, the same state where the Pope had raised the issue, a grand jury has just revealed that hundreds of children were abused by more than 50 priests and religious leaders in the Diocese of Altoona, Johnstown. The trail of accountability led to two bishops who were accused of covering up the crimes, paying off the victims and intervening in police investigations. The offending priests were often transferred to other parishes. Despite the grand jury finding, no criminal charges will be filed because the incidents happened too far back to be prosecuted, while it could take time before the victims come forward. And if these abusers are allowed to escape from this trap of a statute of limitations, why do the victims live with it their entire lives? Why are we protecting the abusers? Why aren't we protecting the victims? The numbers clearly indicate that there were senior clergy involved. That's all they do. The Pennsylvania report comes just days after the Oscars Best Picture win of Spotlight, a film about the Boston Globe's investigation into the widespread cover-up of sexual abuse by Catholic priests. We need to focus on the institution, not the individual priests. The Globe's report set off a wave of inquiries that revealed similar patterns of concealment in dioceses across the world.